Another common point of confusion when it comes to creating content in WordPress is the difference between categories and tags, as well as the actual function and utility of categories and tags. Now we saw earlier that you can add categories and tags from the post editor, but you can also view and manage all of your categories from this page and your tags from this page. So the first thing to note is that categories and tags are used to organize your posts on your website, not your pages, just your posts. And if we go to view one of our categories, let's say music, you can see that it's created an archive page of all of our music related posts. And you can see what the link structure looks like, bradstestsite.com slash category slash music. Tags work in very much the same way. If we go and view our tacos tag, you'll see that we have an archive of all of our taco related content. And here you can see that the link structure is very similar, bradstestsite.com slash tag slash tacos. So what's the purpose? Well, if one of your visitors notices that a blog post has a particular category or a particular tag, and it's a topic they're interested in, they can click on that category or tag to view related content on your website, other taco related posts, other food related posts. It's a way to give them access to other similar content on your site. You can also use categories and tags to display related posts right below the content of a blog post. Now, if the purpose is the same and the functionality is largely the same, What's the difference? Why would you use categories over tags or vice versa? Well, one of the key differences between the two is that every post must be attached to at least one category, but you're not required to add tags to every post. If you don't add a category to a post, it'll just be assigned to that default category, uncategorized. The other key difference is that categories have a hierarchy, whereas tags do not. So you can have a parent category with one or more subcategories, but tags are all on the same level. You can't have parent tags or sub tags. Now in practice, categories are typically used for broad groupings of topics, whereas tags tend to be used for much more specific topics. So on my example site here, I have food as a category, and then I have Mexican as a subcategory. But of course, there are so many different foods, so many different dishes that are much more specific than simply food or Mexican food. That's why we added tacos as a tag. And you can imagine just how many hundreds of different tags we could accumulate if we were creating content about a lot of different types of food. To give you another example, I used to run a website that covered news in the tech industry. And we had a category for social media but then we use tags for the individual companies and platforms that we were covering in the social media space, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. So if we were writing an article about Instagram, we would use the social media category, but then we would tag it as Instagram to be a little more specific. So once again, how you use categories and tags is completely up to you. You don't really have to use them at all if you don't feel that they're necessary for your particular website but they can be a really helpful way to organize your content.